Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about random variables and probability distribution. Now let us see about expectation, variance, covariance and quantiles. First let us see about expectation of a random variable. The expected value of a random variable also called as mean is denoted by E of x or mu. It is the weighted average of the possible outcomes of a random variable where the weights are the probabilities that the outcomes will occur. It can be expressed as E of x is equal to summation of x into P of x equal to x. Let us see an example for calculation of expectation. Consider the rolling of a dice. The expected value for the rolling of a dice can be calculated as shown here. So x contains the possible values it can take for rolling of a dice. So it is from 1 to 6. The probability of getting 1 in rolling of a dice is 1 by 6. 2 is 1 by 6. Likewise up to 6 we are representing. So the idea behind this equation is we have to multiply the x with its individual probabilities. So if you multiply 1 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 1 by 6 up to 6 into 1 by 6 we get 21 by 6 which is nothing but 3.5. Thus the expected value for rolling of a dice is 3.5. Next let us see about variance. It measures how closely the values are spread around the mean. It is denoted by VAR of x or sigma square x. It is expressed as sigma square x is equal to E of x minus mu x whole square. This is the expected value of the square difference between x and its mean. For a discrete distribution, we can write the variance as summation of x minus mu x whole square into P of x equal to x. For continuous variable, we can express the same equation as integration. So variance of x is equal to integration of x minus mu whole square into f of x dx. Standard deviation of a random variable is the square root of its variance and is denoted by sigma x. The greater the standard deviation, the more spread out the possible values of the random variable. We can write this variance formula E of x minus mu x whole square as variance of x is equal to E of x square minus E of x whole square. So let us see how we can derive this formula from this expression. So consider we have variance of x is equal to E of x minus mu whole square. We can write this expectation in the form of summation, summation of x minus mu whole square into P of x. So expanding this formula, we can write it as x square minus 2 mu x plus mu square into P of x. So let us take summation for individual uh, terms. So summation of x square into P of x minus 2 mu into x into P of x plus mu square into summation of P of x. So in this case, we can represent summation of x square into P of x as E of x square because summation of x square is nothing but E of x square minus 2 mu square. So summation of x into P of x can be expressed as mu. So 2 mu into mu can be written as 2 mu square. So it is plus mu square. So we get after subtracting this, we will get mu square. So it is E of x square minus mu square. So mu square, we can write it as E of x whole square. So thus we arrive at E of x square minus E of x whole square. So the variance can also be expressed as E of x square minus E of x whole square. So let us see an example for variance and standard deviation. So consider rolling of one dice. So the solution is we can write the variance of x as E of x square minus E of x whole square. We know that E of x is 3.5 to roll a dice from our previous explanation. So now we can calculate E of x square as x square into p of x. So it, it will take values from 1 to 6. So possible values of uh, x has to be squared. So 1 square into 1 by 6 plus 2 square into 1 by 6 up to 6 square into 1 by 6. It is 15.167. So we subtract this from e of x whole square. So e of x whole square is 3.5 whole square. So we get 2.917. So if we take square root, we get 1.708, which is nothing but the standard deviation. So thus we have found the variance and standard deviation for rolling one dice. Next covariance. The covariance of random variables x and y which represents the relationship between these variables is denoted as E of x minus mu x into y minus mu y. It tells us the direction in which two uh, quantities vary with each other. This can be simplified as shown here. So let us take the formula x minus mu x into y minus mu y. So we can uh, multiply these terms and write x y minus mu y x minus mu x y plus mu x mu y. 
So applying expectation for individual terms, we can write it as e of x y minus mu y into e of x minus mu x into e of y plus mu x into mu y. So we can write this e of x as mu x, e of y as mu y and this cancels minus mu x mu y and plus mu x mu y gets cancelled. So final formula is e of x y minus mu x mu y. So thus the co covariance can be simplified as e of x y minus mu x into mu y. So let us see an example for covariance. Suppose that x and y have the following joint probability mass function. Let us the, uh, calculate the covariance in terms of x and y. So the formula is e of x y minus mu x into mu y. So in this we rewrite the formula as summation of x y into f of x y minus mu x mu y to solve this problem. So x y is nothing but uh, uh, the row uh, is x and uh, column is y. So 1 into 1. So you have uh, 1 for x here. So 1 into 1 that is x into y. 1 into 1 into f of x comma y. f of x comma y is this joint probability distribution. So 1 into 1 into 0 0.25 which is expressed as 1 by 4 plus 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 plus 1 into 3 into 0 as mentioned here plus next we come to the second row 2 into 1 into 0 2 into 2 into 0.25 is 1 by 4 2 into 3 into 1 by 4 again minus mu x mu y. So mu x is so this sum, uh, sum divided by its total number. So 2 plus 1 3 divided by uh, 2. So minus 3 by 2 into mu y. So this one 3 plus 2 plus 1 it is uh, 6 divided by 3 it is nothing but 2. So minus 3 by 2 into 2 can be expressed as 3. So if we calculate this we final, final value is 1 by 4. So thus the covariance of x and y is 1 by 4. Finally, let us see about quantiles. Quantiles are values that split sorted data or the probability distribution into equal parts. The median is a quantile. The median is placed in a probability distribution so that exactly half of the data is lower than the median and half of the data is above the median. The median cuts a distribution into two equal areas and so it is sometimes called as two quantile. In general, a Q quantile divides sorted data into Q parts. The most commonly used quantiles have special names as mentioned here. So it is quartiles, that is four quantiles, splits data into four parts. Deciles, 10 quantiles, splits the data into 10 parts. Percentiles is 100 quantiles, splits the data into 100 parts. So generally, we can represent the ith observation as Q into N plus 1, where Q is the quantile, which is nothing but the proportion below the ith value that we are looking for and n is the number of items in the data set. Let us see how to find quantiles using an example. So we have some data here. We have to find the number in the following set of data where 20% of values fall below it and 80% fall above it. So the steps are first one is we have to sort the data from smallest to largest. So the data is already sorted, so we will go for step 2. We have to count the number of observations. So total number of observations is 40 in this data. Step 3 is convert any percentage to a decimal for Q. So any percentage means here we have 20 percentage and 80 percentage. So let us consider 20 percentage and convert it to decimal. So it is represented as 0.2 which is for value for Q. Next, let us insert these values into the formula. Ith observation is equal to Q into N plus 1. So Q is 0 0.2. So N is 40 plus 1 that is equal to 8.2. So if we round off the 8.2, we will get 8. So 8th number, if you check, it is 13. So thus it says that 20% uh, of it, uh, total data is falling below this 8th number and remaining 80% is above it. So this, this is called as quantiles. So thus in this lecture we have seen about uh, variance, covariance, standard deviation and quantiles. Thank you.